5 Forearm Exercises That Will Help You Strengthen Your Grip 1. Farmer's Walk, Carry 1. Farmer's Walk, Carry What are Farmer's Walk, Carry? Farmer's Carry is another forearm boosting factor of this move? You can perform farmer's carries with pretty much any equipment you'd like. Kettlebells, dumbbells with a fat grip, specialized farmer's walk handles, barbells, sandbags. The list goes on. The more deliberate variety you're giving your forearms, the better. How to do it. Grip the implement of your choice. Stand tall with your hands on either side of your body. Keep your shoulders back and down and brace your core. Walk with a steady stride for the prescribed time or distance. Rest and repeat. 2. Bottoms Up Kettlebell Carry What are Bottoms Up Kettlebell Carry? Holding a kettlebell bottoms up is simple but not easy. The bottoms up kettlebell carry will challenge your grip and forearm strength. You'll flip the kettlebell upside down so the heavy portion sits above the handle and the horn sits on the meat of your hand. This forces you to recruit additional muscle fibers and motor units to control the unstable load. Bottoms up carries can improve your posture, lateral stability, grip, and forearm strength while strengthening the entire shoulder joint. How to do it. Facing a clear walking path, stand up straight and hold a kettlebell in one hand. Curl the kettlebell in front of your shoulder to chin height. Make sure the horn is sitting in the meat of your hand. The bottom of the bell should be facing the ceiling. Keep your wrist in neutral and your elbow bent at 90 degrees. Grip tight and walk slowly for the specified distance. Lower the weight and switch hands. Reset and repeat. Tip. Keep your shoulder packed down even as you're holding the bell overhead. Try to keep both shoulders on an even level. 3. Chin up. What are chin up? The chin up is an all-purpose strength and muscle builder, especially when you want to develop those forearms. If you focus only on moves that isolate your forearms as much as possible, you might stimulate growth. But you need those full body moves to build a solid foundation adding chin-ups to your forearm building routine ensures that you are developing an underlying base of strength and stability in your arms. Yes, your grip will be scorched, but you'll also reap the full body benefits, too. How to do it Grab a pull-up or chin-up bar with your palms facing toward your body. Keep your hands a little closer than shoulder width apart. Brace your core, pull your shoulders back and down, and initiate the pull with your upper back. Pull until your chin clears the bar. Slowly lower down to the starting position. Repeat. Tip. Imagine driving your elbows down into your front pockets during the pull. 4. Dead Hang From Bar What are Dead Hang From Bar? The bar hang is a simple whole body isometric strength exercise. As well as engaging the core, it will build the necessary stability and strength in the shoulders, arms and back for compound pulling exercises. Improved grip strength, reduces shoulder pain and improves shoulder mobility. How to do it. Use a step or jump up to grab onto the bar. Keep your shoulders back and down and make sure your core is engaged. Hold onto the bar for as long as you can. Tip. Don't hold your breath while you're engaged in your hold. Try to keep breathing steadily, out to all sides of your core. Five. Barbell Reverse Biceps Curl
What are Barbell Reverse Biceps Curl? The simple act of changing your grip on the barbell curl will help you build size and strength on the neglected part of the forearm. Reverse curls train the smaller forearm extensors, brachioradialis, pronator teres, and brachialis, a muscle underneath the biceps that will help make your biceps look bigger when you flex. Strength imbalances between the forearm extensors and flexors may lead to sore elbows, so it pays to train the forearm extensors from an injury prevention standpoint, too. How to do it Select a weight that's lighter than what you would use for regular barbell curls, gripping the barbell with your knuckles facing you. Stand with your feet hip-width apart, holding with your arms by your sides. Move your shoulders back and down. Keeping your elbows tucked to your side, slowly curl the barbell up slightly above 90 degrees. Reverse the move slowly to the starting position and repeat. Tip. It's okay to flare your elbows a little bit if the movement pathway feels more natural for your limb length. Just make sure that the curl is being initiated by your biceps and supported primarily by your forearms. The next video will be about how to exercise for maximum muscle gain without going to the gym. Do you think you have what it takes to perform these next exercises? Be sure to hit the subscribe button to find out. See you in the next video.